All right, this is Mr. Owen. We're gonna make a stacked text sign using vCarve software. Um, we are gonna be taking one of your names, either your first or your last name, and having it being our upper layer. And then for the lower layer, we'll use your other name, first or last name, and combine it with the name on top and the one on bottom. And we'll have a lower layer right there. So, so that's how we'll get the stacked text image. Okay, here's a finished example showing on the screen um, right here, my name. And I'm going to take you back and show you how to start this. All right, to open up vCard, you simply go to your start menu, scroll down to the Vs. There's a vCarve 9.5 folder. Click on vCarve 9.5. VCarve Pro 9.5. Click on that and it should bring you to the screen right here. Okay, let's get this thing started by going to create a new file. Okay, you should have a page on your, your screen. Your page will probably be a little bigger than mine is. Um, I need you to change yours to be uh, a width of 8, 8.0, a height of 4.0, and you can leave thickness at 0.5 right there. So 8 by 4, that's all in inches. You can leave the zero position, the Z0 position at material surface, and you can leave the XY down here in the corner. So those two you should not have to change. You should be able to just hit OK, and you've got your screen right here. Okay, so that's an 8 by 4 page that we're drawing on. So that's about how big your, your drawing will be. All right, we're going to put two, two rectangles around the perimeter, uh, two borders, you could say. Let's hit the rec draw rectangle button under create vectors. Okay, you can leave the anchor point in the center of the page. I just need you to change the width, the x direction to be 7.5 and the height to be 3.5. Okay, you can hit the create button. You should get a rectangle that goes around the outside edge, nice even spacing. And we're going to draw one that's slightly smaller as well. I'm sorry, slightly larger as well. 7.75 by 3.75. Okay, and you can hit the create button there, there as well. All right, so you should have two rectangles around the perimeter about like that. All right, next up, we're going to create some layers. Okay, currently your, your border, these two rectangles are in layer one. We need to create a layer for the bottom text and for the top text. So if you'd hit layer one here, slide down to add new layer, and change that to be top text, and double click on the color. Let's change that to red. And add new layer again, and let's do bottom. Bottom text, uh, let's pick a different color. Uh, how about bright blue? Right there, something like that. And the, color, the colors you pick don't really matter that much. All right, so we want to work in the top text. So let's click this button next to top text right now. So we're going to activate top text. Top text should show right there if it's active. And I'm going to vector box button. Okay. Um, this is our top text. So let's type in whatever text you want to be on top. Hit close. All right. If it's on the top text, I'm going to ask that you make it kind of short but long from left to right short vertically but long left to right like that try not to get too close to the borders like that so the machine will go in there and cut those okay so there's your top text i'm going to turn off top text and go to bottom text turn that on i'm double click I'm Activating bottom text now. So bottom text is right there. And I'm going to use that same tool 
draw text with a vector box. Okay. And I'm going to type my first name right there. I'm going to hit close. My bottom text, I'm going to double click on that. I'm going to make it tall vertically, but narrow it up in this direction. So your bottom and top text should look very different from each other. Okay, and if you're not sure, you can always turn them both back on and see what you got. Uh, I forgot to have you centered. I'm going to use F9 to center. The F9 button will center your text for you. I'm going to do that for both of them just to make sure. All right, there we go. Okay, let me just confirm what we have here. In the top text, we've got one word. And in the bottom text, we've got the other word. But the thing with the bottom text, you also need the top text word joining it. So, here's my top text. I'm going to select it. So again, this is top. I'm going to right click. And I'm going to slide down to copy to layer, not move to, but copy to, and I'm going to copy it to the bottom text. Okay, so when I go down to bottom text, I should see both words. Okay, both words, John and Omen are both blue, and still in the top text, Omen is in red, and it should be the exact same size as the word below it. If Omen was two different sizes, I would need to start over and redo that text. Okay, a little bit confusing. If you need to go back and rewatch, that's fine. All right, let's start with the top text. I've just turned off the bottom text. There's my top text. Right now, our machine doesn't know what these, these letters are. It doesn't know what to do with them. We have to convert them into lines. I know they look like lines, but they're actually text right now. So press the Convert to Curves button. Oh, hang on, let me undo that. I'm currently in the bottom text layer. I need to go to the top text layer and activate it. There we go. Otherwise, we'll have a problem there. So let me try that again. Bottom text is turned off. Top text is active. I'm working on the top text right now. OK, here we go. So you select your text. Click on Convert to Curves. There it is. That's what it should look like. So now these are considered lines. When it says convert to curves, it means convert to lines. And then we're going to hit the group button. So you hit convert to curves, and you hit group right there. OK, so that's those are all lines. That's considered one line right now. OK, I'm going to turn off top text and go to bottom. I'm going to activate it. So we're currently working on this one. All right, same thing. I gotta convert Omen to curves, group it, and then the other word for me is John. Convert to curves, group it. Okay, so we have two sets of lines. You got there's one line and there's the other line now. Okay, now we're gonna blend them together called welding. We're gonna use this button in a moment. If you attempt this right now. Uh, with only one thing selected, it won't work. Okay, you need to select both of them all at the same time. Okay, but I'm not selecting the outline boxes around the perimeter. So just all the text, and we are going to weld this into one thing. There it is. So my first and last names are welded together with consistent lines through all of that. That is what your bottom layer looks like. All right, and on top of that, there's your top text. Yep, we're still good to go. Let's group that. We have to go back to, so I selected it all. I'm going back to this world. I hit that blue arrow up there to do that. And group is right there. Okay. Okay. So we are done drawing now. So we're gonna move over to the toolpath world here. So I'm gonna hit that blue arrow. Uh, let's see, let's turn off bottom text. So 
we only see the top. Okay, we have three tool paths to make. One for the top text, one for the bottom, and another one for this outline out here. So let's select the pocket tool. Uh, it starts at a depth of zero, that's good, that's where it'll start at. And it's gonna go a tenth of an inch deep, that's already correct. Make sure end mill 0.125 is already selected. If not, you would hit select and you would pick this very first one and mill 0.125. It might already be set for you though. So now we have to tell it what are we gonna cut. So I'm going to click on the inside border. I'm gonna hold down the shift key with my left hand and with my right hand I'm gonna click my top text. So it's going to do a pocket between here and your text. It's gonna cut around the words if I hit calculate. Okay, that's what that looks like. Now I want this showing and I want my drawing showing, so I'm gonna hit the Arrange Views Horizontally button right there. There they are, so you get both views happening. I'll hit Close. And I'm gonna uncheck this pocket, okay? All right, we're gonna do another pocket and we're not gonna do it with the top text this time. So turn off top text, turn the bottom back on. Right there. And let's do the same thing. Let's select the inside border, hold down the shift key on the keyboard with one hand. Okay, one more time. Select the border, hold down the shift key select your text so you get all of that so it knows to cut between them all right this time we can't start at zero otherwise nothing would happen we need to start at 0.1 deep and go another 0.1 deep so 0.1 and 0.1 and mill 0.125 and you hit calculate all right there okay if you want to see if you're on track make sure both boxes are checked for tool pockets and preview visible tool paths. All right, it looks like I'm on track. I've got my top text is Omen. My bottom text is Omen and John. Looks like just John though. So we're on track there. Okay, our final step is to make a profile. We're just gonna have it follow this outside, outside line. So you can select that outer border select profile, 0.1 is fine, and mill 0.125, and calculate. All right, we'll preview visible tool paths, and it should look about like that right there. All right, that'll help us to cut these out when we get out there in the shop. There we have it. All right, so that's the end of the tool paths. Now to save it, uh, you can select all of your tool paths. Hit save tool path button right there. Make sure output is checked. Output all visible tools to one file. Make sure they're all showing right here. No error messages. If you have an error, you probably have the wrong tool picked. And select the Axiom machine. MMG is the file type. Okay, then call me over, Mr. Roman, and have me look it all over to make sure it's correct, and he will save it for you. All right, and that's it.